home quarantine is eventually going to end. No matter how long it'll take, it'll eventually end, inshallah. I have full trust in Allah Azza wa Jal that this is going to finish and we will come out of that healthy and better in faith, inshallah. Now, after it's done and it's all over, you will have two types of people. One group who utilized that home quarantine to take online courses, to, recite, to read books, beneficial books, in different fields, whether it is scientific or religious. Some had memorized the extra chapters of the Qur'an, some had recited the full Qur'an two, three, four, five times, and others um, wrote a, a research paper. The exact opposite of that is a category that will come out of this having watched three, four, ten series, uh, 20, 30, 50 movies, uh, mastered uh, games on smartphones or on the computer, and spent a lot of time doing nothing. Both of the categories had one thing in common, free time. The difference was how each of them dealt with this resource. The resource was the same, time, free time. But it's how you handle this resource. This is what made this distinction between these two, uh, two categories of people. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Al-Bukhari, he said there are uh, two bounties, two blessings from Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, about which people incur uh, loss, great loss. Number one is health, well-being. Number two is free time. What makes the difference between people? Why would some uh, incur a loss and others won't? Because it depends on how they use their mind, what the level of their faith is, what's their ambition. And based on all, the, all of these factors, the utilization of the time will happen. We still have a chance. The time hasn't finished. We're still home. So we can change. al Hassan al-Basri says, and with this I conclude, O son of Adam, you're nothing but a compilation of days. When one day ends, part of you ends. So before you completely end, as per his statement, let's utilize our time so when the last day ends, we would have utilized our lives in the best manner that we will find pleasing in the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum.